We could do an, oh. Hi, sorry, so we're here eating, eating cheese, cheese, talking about using an Instapot to mm -hmm. make soup this fall and winter. Hey. Yes, you're saying comment, yeah. Comment on our Facebook page and say, tell me if you'd like me to do some Instapot recipes. Can I comment right here on no. the show? No, yes, you're not okay. <laughs> yes so I would legal. like her to do something because I just said I'd like to use my Instapot and I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so well, yeah, tell me how, great. teach me how. We'll do the pressure cooker setting because that, we can get that done in this amount of time. So tell us, what oh, have yeah. you done? Yeah, what'd what you do here, here today? Well, I'm right currently about to burn the cheese toast. You want to go get it? I'll go keep an eye on it. I'll, I'll make myself useful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So all I did was like clean out my refrigerator and I had broccoli, asparagus, celery, um, garlic. Yep. I simmered it with a bunch of Parmesan rinds. Mm -hmm. uh, pulled the Parmesan rinds out and then pureed the the vegetables. And that's it. That's and I could put whatever I want in there because you said Absolutely. it's empty out my fridge. Yeah, if you wanted to do like yeah. potatoes mm -hmm. and then finish it with a little smoked paprika and some cream and then put like huh. cheese on, sharp yeah. cheddar cheese on Not top. Not that I have those things, but yeah. Smoked paprika, get it? Stick it in I here. have smoked paprika it's because so you told good. me I had to have it. Well, and here's the, the thing. One? This, you won't taste the smokiness, but I did put smoked paprika in. Mm. It looks hot. Is it too hot? No, it's really good. And the smoked paprika just amps up the umami. It doesn't taste smoky. Come so back, I was here. doing this. Are those ready? Come here. Yeah, Chris wants to go ready. eat. Chris wants to eat. All I right, so our eat. cheese bread might not be ready yet. But, yeah. so I do have a question. So if I was doing this in the Instapot, yeah. <laughs> can you give us a little preview? What's um, the difference? I mean, you did this on the stove in 20 nice. minutes. Right. Does I that mean I can do it in 10? No, I think the Instapot would actually take longer because the Instapot to do the pressure cooking setting, good. isn't that yummy? Yeah. Um, it, 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 it would take longer than 10 minutes. So this is something, just do it on, on top of the stove. Yeah. I know it looked ridiculous. You're able to hold your bowl. I just don't trust myself. So, <laughs> no, so let's bend all the Chris, way over. Chris, Chris. No, it's, I feel like I'm also getting an ab workout as well. So nice. this, this, this is n now another life hack. This is a great way to eat okay, soup. So I'm this, not hacking my life that way. Me, me no. either. <laughs> I want to just not, drink it. Not, but this is right. like a savory, it's like a savory smoothie. It really is. This is, is like taking a so vitamin. Put it that it's way. super duper healthy. There's and tasty. If you didn't, yeah, I mean, almost very, very little fat. If you want to put cream in it, that would make it even. And you better. grated up the um, uh, broccoli, right, to make it this fine? So I pureed it. I have a, an immersion blender. This is half of it. They're like thirty bucks at Target. I use mine almost every day. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely mm. great for pureeing anything, and you don't have to take it out of the pot. You puree whatever you're doing in the pot so you don't have to like transfer stuff it to easy. a blender and less cleanup. Less cleanup and very, very handy. You can make salad dressings, all sorts of stuff. So yeah. it's not really a soup day. No. I know. But soup season is soon upon yeah, us. Soup coming. season <laughs> is coming up, but we have a super forecast for you. Oh, I mentioned look at this. You. Look at that. Soup puns, my nice. favorite type of puns. All right, so my favorite day of the week is this coming Thursday. The reason why it's the most comfy. It qualifies with Friday as the sunniest day. We should have nice. wall-to-wall sunshine. It's a couple of clouds, and it's the coolest, where we're starting off in the low 60s, Ooh. high Ooh. temperatures right around where we should be in the low 80s. Mm -hmm. Many people have been writing in saying, I want these days. Well, at least we have a couple of them coming up. Wednesday, Thursday, heading into the weekend, we start to warm back up. Today, not a soup day, but this soup is fantastic. Well, <laughs> this soup is good cold, too. Oh, so it could be soup, could day. be soup day. Mm-hmm. Yep.